so we managed to run through the full contract on our devnet and check in my account balance i'm getting richer and richer which means the contract works uh, i have a few questions to top line regarding the contract setup so probably figure out it after the call so like generally it's good news and that's it So just to clarify, you have a definite running with the actual with our contract, right? Correct. OK, perfect. Uh, Aragon? Uh, no updates. OK. Oops. Uh, is Guillaume here? Uh, I, can, I don't see him, so I guess not. So I guess there's no get updates either. Same for prison. I haven't had a chance to try running it. Uh, okay, so regarding the withdrawals contracts, uh, I know there were issues with deploying. I guess that was figured out um, in the meantime. So maybe, yeah, do you have, uh, yeah, uh, maybe an explanation or how do you, how did you fix it, basically? Well, the, the, I have a question regarding, there are uh, two tokens like related to each other uh, and I'm not fully understand the, the, the the la deployment logic there. So I will figure out this with top line. But I managed to make them work uh, yesterday on our devnet. So I just I have to make sure that I set them, up, uh, set them up correctly. And that's it. It's not a big deal. OK. Um, I guess there's no other, other updates regarding the contracts. I don't know if the audit went through. Uh, maybe Lion has more information regarding that. Yeah, Adam Adam reached out today. He says the audit is widely ready. So yeah, we'll we'll follow up on that. Okay, so I guess deployment issues we're not going to talk about uh today. Um, so yeah, we had a call with Nethermines uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, <laughs> and I think there's, uh, I guess, concerns. If I can summarize it very quickly, uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But basically, concerns about ownership of uh, well, QA testing DevOps. So who should spin up DevNets? Who should maintain them? Who should, I guess, distribute keys and all of that and uh, who should write tests and do quality assurance. Um, so yeah, we've kind of reached the conclusion that we would need two new roles. Uh, so someone in QA to maintain the test suites or uh, at least start forking it from Ethereum for Gnosis uh, and then maintain them, of course, and uh, a DevOps guy for, um, yeah, DevNets, Shadow Forks, Testnets, whatever and I guess uh, monitoring all of that. Um, so yeah, I don't... Point. So on, on the meantime, thank you so much, Anna, for bringing Matt in. I think he's, he's, doing, he's doing great. Um, I'm what, just what, a messenger. Maybe you want to comment? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe you want to comment if, if on his behalf or gateway, how, how long would be the commitment for Matt to stay helping on QA until we can cover these positions ourselves? And because I'm just a messenger, I, I just can, sorry, but connect you with Igor from Gateway, uh, maybe, and uh, Max uh, himself can uh, shed some light, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually sure on that one. So I, I think I'll have a chat with Temok and Igor this afternoon and try and get you an answer um, on that. Thank you. Yes, and just to. Um... Clarify this maybe a bit. We are planning a, a call with a Gateway to talk about this. Um, so yeah, it's not clear yet, but hopefully we're getting there. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe while we're at the topic, maybe Max, can you kind of quickly introduce yourself and talk about what you've been doing with the tests and that kind of thing? Yeah, sure. Hi, guys. So I'm Max. I'm in Sheffield in sunny England. It's actually snowing at the minute. And um, so I've been working with the Gateway team, um, moved to the Aragon team about six months ago to help there. Um, and now picking up this Hive stuff. So that's kind of like a bit of background. Um, 
the work I've done so far, I went down a bit of a rabbit hole last week um, trying to understand the differences between the ETH chain and the Gnosis chain and then trying to figure out how to get Hive to work um, in that context. Um, I just started manually crafting this morning uh, a Genesis, which I think is probably a really good start point. Um, I think that we're going to probably get quite far with that, but I don't know what I don't know yet. So there's going to be some stuff where we probably trip up and need to debug through Hive and, and figure out what's what's going on as i say last week i went down a bit of rabbit hole um sort of into the proto lambdas at rnt lib um looking at some of the configs that get pulled through from there so i think we can just override those and hopefully craft something that gives us an accurate representation um and makes hive work in the context we want um i think i'm probably going to start asking quite a few questions and um, so probably to to whoever want, wants to make themselves available to me to sort of answer some chain specific questions i guess Awesome. Yeah, so as always, feel free to contact me or the Cordless group on Telegram uh, for clarifying questions. Yeah, thanks, guys. I think I've got a bit of, um, you know, just reading, learning to do so I understand what some of the differences are and what they mean. Um, but yeah. Okay, so just to move back to the ownership conversation, um, I guess so. We now have a definite with the right contract, which Nedermind is um, maintaining or at least spun up. Uh, is that fine for now from the Nedermind side to maintain that definite, or uh, do you expect maybe something from our side right now? Yeah, I, I think so. It, it's fine for us. Uh, I mean, in short short term, and uh, we agreed that uh, devnets will be. Uh, running uh, with Carlos from our team, Lion, and maybe someone else uh, from Gateway, as I understand correctly. Lion, could you correct me if I'm wrong? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so, so, so sorry, should we still uh, run keys at Gnosis and Gateway and all of those? And if so, could you distribute them? Mm, Carlos, could you answer this question? Sorry, could, could you repeat, please? So, uh, oh, go ahead. So if, if we can distribute the uh, keys and probably the configs uh, for this DevNet, uh, you mean the the current one? Well, yes. this one it's uh, more like an intern one we are setting up, but uh, there are a few keys, and probably if we want to have a public one, it's a better idea to to start a new one with uh, much more validators to distribute them. I think for this one we can at least uh, distribute configs so that uh, Aragon might be yeah. able uh, could like sync the network and test that. But for validator case, uh, I think, I don't know how many validators we have on this network, but it's like a very small amount. So maybe we'll like uh, spin up like a bigger one um, and distribute keys for that one. Yeah, and maybe we could set up all this testing stuff like block explorers, etc., cetera, for uh, the next DevNet. What do you think? I think that's already set up. Like we already set up. Uh... Oh, nice, nice. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we have resolved the issues with the consensus layer uh, explorer, but uh, but in general that, that yeah that's not something that we can solve. Guys, those issues date back to the, to this yeah the the eight days of the merge. Uh, so there's some conflict in there that we were not able to solve at the time. So, but in yeah, general, yeah, we have yeah. Go ahead. There's something we can do. So Nimbus developed an alternative explorer which is much more minimal, but it, it will work. So we can run that too, in case Beacon Cha cannot keep up. Mm -hmm. That would be great. So in general, if we are going to, because uh, if you're going to bring up a different uh, depth net, a bigger one, so in general, one of the issues, uh, I think Ruben can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think one of the issues with the deployment of the withdrawal contract is that 
actually the bytecode that we that we got uh, is not the bytecode for the withdrawal contract constructor but actually a bytecode for some kind of deployer slash initializer that use that actually deploy the withdrawal contracts along with all uh, with other contracts uh, at the constructor and then it initialize them so so that's a problem with because we don't have the address for the actual withdrawal contract before running the, the that constructor so uh, there are two ways to fix it so one we if, if that's the issue if i'm if i understood it correctly there are two ways to fix it one we we use some kind of deterministic deployment method so kind of create two or something like that and make sure we know what where what is the address for the withdrawal contract control with before actually running the constructor and the other one is that we don't do any deployment on the constructor but rather do the deployment uh, of each contract in a separate manner on the same tag using the constructor uh, functionality and then what we have is kind of like an initializer that uh, like uh, puts everything together but without having to deploy anything Uh, yeah, we can look into it. So when I was constructing the transaction, the the contracts have a very weird circular dependency, where the wrapper needs to know about the deposit contract, and the deposit contract needs the the wrapper in its constructor, which is whatever. It's okay, what it so is. Um, they need it in the constructor. Yeah, we, that, would you say we could would be good? Uh, let's look if that is possible. Uh, the the other thing is. The address of a deployed contract is computed from the sender address and the nonce, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, if in, in that, like, if in the const, like, if in the genesis there is a deployed or like a constructor bytecode that deploys another contract, that address is deterministic. Like, who who is actually yeah, sending yeah. that transaction? Yeah, yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's deterministic. Yeah. yeah. So I guess if, if we run it once and then we capture the addresses, then those addresses would be the same in all deployments, right? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. So we have to make sure we're running on behalf of the same deployment uh, deployer for the all configs. Yeah, I will check and get back to you in a few minutes. But I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're running on behalf of the same deployer. I just need to check what's the address. But yeah. Got it. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not an expert in solidity nor these things, uh, not an execution code dev. So, but that contract to do the deployment was my best effort to help you guys, but it could be trash. So again, if you have a better strategy, I, I'm happy to help there too. All right, I will try to handle it. Oh, sorry, who just? Spoke who said to us going to uh, try to fix this? Uh, that's me, Ruben. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, I also forgot to ask for an update from the gateway team. Uh, so we uh very close to final setup of uh, bridge validator for Chiado, AMB bridge validator. So uh, I hope it will be this week. And as soon as it's fine, then we go to mainnet with the same setup. Again, uh, extra questions will come from the team uh, in Slack. Uh, we have some conversations there. So uh, we'll keep as it is. And uh, that's all updates from Gateway for now. Awesome, thank you. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Actually, I do have extra question on this uh, DevNet validators. So um, it would be great to share any timelines uh, if there will be new uh, DevNet network, what, uh, just a any uh, input, because if Gateway needs to help with um, 
with this we'd like also to have some planning in advance yeah we usually give a, a week's notice that would be enough to provision infra yeah i think so Yeah, I guess there's no plans to spin up a new one immediately, right? So we'll just keep the, the current one. If we can get uh, yeah, Aragon looped in so they can at least test if it syncs and everything, that would be awesome. Um, yeah. OK, so the gateways involvement uh, in this, uh, like, do you does anyone expect that we will help with the current DevNet, or uh, is it like for the for the next one from what i understood i guess the next one and this one is next a bit one, yes. smaller for another mind and there we go mm -hmm. okay thank you yeah distributing non-genesis keys is very annoying all right well does anyone have any comments or questions Okay, I guess we can wrap it up then. All right, well, see you soon, guys. Cheers, thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.